Hi, I'm Brian Clare, designer for Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. Sins of a Solar Empire has always given players the opportunity to command massive fleets and engage in combat on an epic scale. Rebellion challenges everything you know about the ongoing faction struggles in the previous games. With Rebellion, internal struggles have split each of the three races into competing factions, loyalists and rebels. Each faction, with their own unique technologies and playstyles, has developed gigantic new Titan warships capable of decimating entire fleets. Now we're pulling back the curtain for the very first in-depth look at the Tech Faction, as well as highlighting the features you'll see in the upcoming public beta. In the first beta, players will be able to command these new warships when they play as either the Tech Loyalists or the Tech Rebels. The Tech Loyalists are defensive, with technologies allowing them to deploy more star bases and train up their capital ship crews from within friendly territory. In keeping with this strategy, they've built the Ankalon Titan, specializing in protecting ships within a larger fleet. The Tech Rebels take a very different approach, from inciting rebellion on enemy planets to joining forces with mercenary pirates. They built the Ragnarok Titan, essentially an enormous floating gun, to destroy those that refuse to join their cause. New Corvette-class attack craft and a heavy troop transport round out the shared arsenal of the Tech race. From hit-and-run attacks to boarding enemy frigates, these new ships open up strategies you haven't seen before. Since the Solar Empire Rebellion not only features six new factions, but new victory conditions, moons, steam integration, and a complete graphical overhaul. Check out all of this and more in the public beta when you pre-order from SinsVasolarEmpire.com and check back soon for videos showcasing these new features.